and please put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. Now look at any particularly heavy dukkha that you've had in your life in the past or now and try to recognize whether it's either wanting something that you don't have or not wanting something that you do have. Just try to distinguish between these two amongst the heavy dukkha that you may have had in the past or are having now. And then having found out which one it is, either wanting or not wanting, then try to inquire why do I want it or not want it? What's my reason? And now having found the reason, inquire whether at this particular moment you still find the reason valid. And if you still find it valid, what is that validity based on? Other people's opinion, your own opinion, a search for support. Was it that validity? Is it based upon your dislike of unpleasant sensations? Now having ascertained whether it's something you want to have or want to get rid of and also having found the reason why you want either of those, can you for just a moment let go of either wanting or not wanting, of anything that you may now carry around with you or that happened in the past, letting go completely for just a little moment of wanting whatever it is that you haven't got or not wanting whatever it is that you have. And having done that, look at your own feelings. How do you feel? you feel at ease, consoled, or bereft because your dukkha disappeared for a moment.
if you feel the letter can you recognize the fact that you have established an identification with Dukkha or do you think it is worthwhile to establish a personal identification with Dukkha And if you don't think it's worthwhile to establish that relationship, can you see that it's entirely up to you to sever it? Have you found in yourself that little niggling feeling which translates into there must be more to life than what I have already experienced and manifests in unrest, restlessness, disquiet, looking for something? Have you become aware of that Dukkha? And if you have, can you find out how you have answered that search? what possibilities you have looked into to satisfy that inner longing look at all the different pathways and possibilities that you have used to satisfy that inner longing and possibly recognizing that none of them actually answered that particular search Can you recognize the fact that this inner longing is a longing for total fulfillment? And if you can, what do you expect or visualize or have an idea what total fulfillment should mean?
inquire to see whether total fulfillment could possibly arise out of worldly situations which include people, activities, knowledge, fame, acceptance, or any of the things that you have looked into. Can you inquire and find out whether worldly activities, situations, endeavors can still that longing for fulfillment? How would you name that which could still the longing completely and provide complete fulfillment so that no more wishes arise? Can you give it a name or an idea, a description? Now have a look, not at the past, but at the present moment. Let's say, what's been happening today, from the time you woke up until now? Was there any dukkha? Did you recognize it? Did anything happen that you didn't want to happen? Or did something you really wanted to happen, didn't happen? Just between the time you woke up and now. and then inquire why you didn't want it to happen, if that was the case. Was it pride? Was it project? And did it make you see yourself in a lesser light than what you'd like to? Why didn't you want it to happen? And if it was something that you would have liked to happen and didn't, why? Find out why you wanted it to happen. Were you looking for results, achievement? 
forgetting to go with the flow. Now look at any day in your everyday life, any day at all. How often are you joyful and how often are you resisting, rejecting or disgruntled, irritated? or hoping for better times. Just take any day that you can remember and look to see what happened during that day. Maybe the day before you came here or one of the days you've been here, it doesn't matter. How often is there joy? How often is there rejection, dislike? disgruntled And now look at the reasons for either the joy or the rejection. Are they outside triggers that cause them? Do you believe in those triggers? Do you believe that without them things would be entirely different? And have a look to see whether you're using time and energy to avoid any of the triggers that cause the negative reaction. And what are you doing to avoid them? And now have a look to see whether you believe that joy is also caused by outer triggers. And do you pursue these outer triggers, trying to keep them and get them back? And how much time and energy do you spend on that? Have a look.
can you recognize the fact that outer triggers come to us through our senses and that our senses are only a small part of ourselves and can you recognize that there is an inner reality in each person clear translucent sparkling it's the utmost value which is not and need not be connected to the sense contacts can you either feel it or imagine it become aware of it or at least have an idea that this is so And can you recognize the fact that our inner longing for peace and happiness is connected to this truth of that which we carry within? Can you see the connection and thereby discard the idea that our outer triggers are of the utmost importance. if you can see things in that way can you also fathom that although Dukkha is in small and large matters we need not suffer from it our inner reality doesn't get touched Now find out whether you want to draw near to that inner reality so that eventually it is the most telling and most important aspect of yourself.
look once more at your own dukkha whether it's present now and you're aware of it whether it's been present in the past or whether it's only present is the changeable nature which causes irritation and friction look at that dukkha now and see it in the perspective that we have just touched upon does it look different May people everywhere be completely free of all dukkhas. 